Paul, you've added Mark Hudson to your backroom team. What will he bring to Sheffield United? Yeah, a lot of experience. Um, obviously knows the position in terms of so first team coach, first and foremost, we all work together, but um, he'd be adding a lot of detail and support to the defenders as Jack and works the forwards, Mac and midfield as Duke with the goalkeepers. And it's a position obviously he knows really well. Um, and the other bit really like, like I said, he's, he's also managed as well, which is Jack has, Mac has. And then from my point of view, that's invaluable. You've been looking for someone to add to your team for, for a while now, but you've been patient, waiting for the right person. So what is it about Mark that you think will help Sheffield United? So they've got that experience. So he's played in that position all the way through to the top level. Um, coach teams, so knows it's not just him coming in, uh, working with individuals. He knows the role of the individual within the team and the importance of um, that defensive unit. Um, and he knows... Yeah, what it takes to get a performance out of players, because like he's, he's been the one as well at, at the top end managing a team. Um, and when you're in my position to have three support staff like that around you, know what job you're trying to do. And uh, yeah, it, it really is important and it, it makes my job a lot easier. You know, little bits are, are getting picked up, um, which maybe people who haven't experienced it would miss. It's a tight unit behind the scenes. You've got people alongside you that you've known for a long time. So how will Mark fit in and dovetail with those other people that you've got there? Yeah, good. I think his, his, his personality is that is um, level personality, good, conscientious coach. Does a lot of the work. He will enjoy doing a lot of the work. Knows the importance of getting the relationship with the players. Uh, yeah, and I think listen, I think the staff is an easy group of staff to fit into. Um, by Premier League standards, it's not a massive group of staff, but but we like that. You know, we don't want any message diluted, um, and it means everyone's contributing to what we do on a Saturday afternoon. So, yeah, I think he'll I think he'll fit in really well. I don't think he'll find it difficult at all, and um, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure he'll add what we expect him to add. He said he's been down for a study visit and was very impressed, and clearly you must have been very impressed with him. What do you remember of that occasion? Yeah, we 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 tend to like if if anyone's out and about. Um, wanting to come in and we enjoy having visitors in, whether that's coaches like, like Mark, could be sports scientists, could be anyone, analysts. Yeah, we were pretty good at getting people in and having a look around, but um, Mark's someone who, who I obviously knew before and yeah, he came in and had a good look round. Um, we showed him how we worked. So I think when we were chatting about the role, he had a good idea of what, uh, what it was, how it would fit in, and probably more importantly, what he thought he could bring to it as well and a chance to get to know the players over the next few days and weeks. And of course, you're going away soon as well, so another opportunity to integrate into the club. Yeah, yeah, we'll have that. It's the time of year for that, whether it's new players, new staff. Um, yeah, you, you want everyone to feel a part of it come that first game and, and when that whistle blows. So, yeah, it's a big part of what pre-season is. Yes, it's getting fit. It's in, um, trying to get the information across the new, new players, new members of staff, so that they can hit the ground running. But... Likewise, it's about integrating them and making them feel part of the team as well. And a couple of days back into pre-season now, everyone reported in in good spirits and looking forward to the season ahead, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah, well, we've, I don't think we've got half the players back yet. I think we've, we've sort of had three different stages coming back yesterday, tomorrow and then next week because we've had a lot of people uh, doing different things during the summer as well. So, yeah, I think come next Monday, 10th, Everyone will be back in and it'll be good to, uh, to see where we are and then, like I say, it'll be about adding to that squad and, and getting to work for the first game against Palace.